hello and welcome uh, <laughs> this is my cool uh, purse but we are not here for that we are here because i went to the courier's office uh, i got a doll in here but i'm going to see this right back there we go let's see I've been wanting this doll for a very long time. There aren't too many of the LOL OMG. Is she an OMG? I think she is OMG. Were the big ones LOL? I don't know. <laughs> the the mid-size, let's, let's call them. Uh, there aren't too many of these dolls that I want. But uh, she, I think she is the one that I've been wanting the most. At least I think this is the one. She originally had like a space cowboy team, I think. Oh, look how pretty that is. This is her. Well, I think it's an original top. She's very cute. I do have one more of these dolls. And yeah, I've been waiting for a chance to get this one cheap. I do know that she has some missing strands of hair somewhere there we go mm, it's not a few it's like a lot but i'm going to have to figure something out maybe i will cut some hair and just but how do you root these dolls their heads are really hard hmm. maybe i i'll just ignore it you know the missing hair also, I never realized that she has chunky glitter. Interesting. I don't like chunky glitter on the lips. It reminds me of breadcrumbs or like she ate candy and now she has sugar <laughs> on her mouth. But I love her hair color. And yeah, she, she's really cute. I'm going to have to wash her. And I guess I'll have to make her some clothing. I know I have some shoesies somewhere for her. But I most definitely don't have anything to give her to wear. So I'm going to have to make undies. Or pants or skirt or something for her to wear. Which is going to be a challenge. I have never uh, sewn for this body and... She has the tiniest waist and the biggest uh, ties. Very, very pretty, but it's going to be really hard to sew for it. Okay, I just wanted to uh, unwrap her on camera, just in case there was something wrong with her. And uh, because I bought her second hand. And, uh, you know, just to have this here as an intro to this video. Alrighty, so I washed her hair. Hmm. The color looks a lot blue, but yeah, it's a lot greener. Anyways, uh, I tried not to brush too much because... Uh, the tinsel gets damaged if you brush too much and uh, it's not that the hair is tangled it's the tinsel that actually gets tangled from time to time and it snags and uh, it's beautiful the shine is beautiful don't get me wrong but just the texture I don't know I know that you can just sit down and pull out all of the tinsel strand by strand. Hmm. But I also really like it. It gives her that spacey, space chick look that she has. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about the bangs because they were uh, gelled hard and I washed them. So yeah, we'll see how well they look when you know they are dry and now they are actually soft i think uh, she has a part here because uh, she was in these long pigtails and maybe i will try to 
Redo the pigtails. Uh, I did wash her with this on. And yeah, it's just lace, so it's gonna dry, get dry on her. I'm not going to do anything about this situation here. I don't know. She's sparsely rooted anyway. These uh, MGA dolls tend to be sparsely rooted, which is a bit disappointing. I guess they do it because the heads are big and too much hair will weigh them down, but I'm just used to something else. The more I'm looking at her, the more I actually like her. I'm not huge of the huge fan, sorry, <laughs> of the flat face. Just my cat walked nearby and I looked and I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the flat face. The fact that she doesn't have a nose and actually her eyes are poking out of her head as much as her nose is. But I can see you. I, I can see you. Blah. I can see how it's cute. And I like it on this combination. She also has this really weird wiggly eyebrows but i think i'm going to have fun uh restoring her and figuring out how to dress these uh, shapes because yeah i will now uh, do something about the hair before it tangles again and i'll see you on the next update she's very nice she wasn't really dirty but you never know where she's been, so yeah, I had to wash her. I only wish her lip wasn't the chunky glitter. Also, there is something white in there. I guess it's just a layer of white paint or something, and then they did the the glitter stuff, but I don't know. Anyways. Kiki came to see what we are doing and excuse the mess this is my fabrics uh, drawer there that you're seeing and Kiki okay she's seeing the sparkles in the hair and it's driving her crazy we found the part of the doll <laughs> yeah Michi We have some progress with the hair. I started doing the pigtails like that and I'm going to make them like little sausages. That's the plan. Making sausages. <laughs> the hair is very nice. It just looks very messy. But she's a cute doll. So we're gonna fix her. So we have braids and a dress uh, this dress is from sparkle girls it's not ideal because this is too translucent and she doesn't have any undies but uh, well not braids pigtails she has a very uh, weird part as i don't know if it's visible let's focus do you see there is this is the part here going but on this side there is one more like down going row of hair and this row is too sparse to be to part it and make the part so I had to take some hair from from the second part I don't know she is weirdly rooted also this is cut I guess uh, with this hairstyle we don't really see that there is uh, the missing hair because yeah it's covered so i parted it the color is really beautiful i think with the flashlight on this is the actual color that the hair is and it's beautiful so i did two piggy tails and i just took a strand of hair i, I braided it i elasticated it then Again, I put elastic, I take a strand, I braid it, I swoop it around, I elasticate it in place and here one more time and then the rest is 
uh, all sorts of lengths so I can't make a third braid because I won't have enough hair for uh, for the braid, you know. So I can't make third sausage, sorry, I call these sausages <laughs> because I won't have enough hair to put a braid on top of the elastic so I chose to leave it and I feel like the this sausage is shorter than this sausage and it's bugging me a little bit but I'm not gonna remake him remake them sorry uh, this is the situation with the fringe once I washed the product and now it's soft it's it's not the best it's not as pointy as it was before but it's fine for me yeah so I will have to make her something to wear other than this she can stay in this but I don't know I, I feel like this is too translucent also I had these shoes from Aliexpress I do have one more pair they're green I think these ones kind of go a little bit better with the eyes but we will see what I will make for her as an outfit piece and then we will choose the shoes. I just wanted to give her some shoes because maybe it will take me some time before I can uh, actually start making her outfit because I have other projects uh, that I'm currently working on. So you will see her a bit later on the channel as from, you know, uh, when I got her. But you will see the full uh, process of me working on her. So, yeah. So, I've been working on this thing for hours. This is just an um, uh, LOMG body that I bought a very long time ago on Aliexpress. Uh, I did uh, make the pants just by eye to be honest. I had done a sketch. This is my <laughs> weird sketch. Her eyes are like black holes. <laughs> so I wanted this to be made from a completely different fabric, but uh, that fabric had to be washed and uh, it is now clean, it is soft and uh, blue and green, but uh, I just wanted to do it now and uh, the fabric wasn't washed, so I put the fabric in the washing machine and uh, uh, the washing machine is downstairs and I came up here and I was like, but I want to do it now. You know, so I wanted to try to make something and uh, I sat down around, I think, 10 in the evening and uh, I got up in 2 in the morning. Literally, I was struggling with the fit because uh, sewing for these hips is very hard. I know that I could have gone with some sort of dress, but... I don't want a dress, I want pants and like a bodysuit, some, something, but you know, uh, two or three hours in with the pants and still struggling, you know, not to make them interesting, but just to make them fit. I decided that I'm not making uh, sleeves and this is gonna be just very simple, the top part. As you can see, the fit is still not great. This is a bit too big here on this part of the butt, but here you can see it is stretching too much. Uh, and here on the tummy it's perfect, but here we have this little um, overlapping, which doesn't look flattering at all. And uh, basically I went to sleep two in the evening and it was just these fluffs just these fluffs and uh, the bodysuit and I woke up this morning and I realized that it's you know I, I took so much time making it and it was just a sloppy bodysuit you know nothing special about it so I decided uh, to do these little fluffs on the feet inspired by my initial drawing and uh, lately I've been having fun with this glue that sounds wrong but yeah with this glue and uh, I have a little jar of these little flat back beads 
It works very well for them because it's like a gel and it has a very fine nozzle so you can put like a line of the glue and then one by one uh, just put the little uh, flat back beads and you know I did this to hide the fact that uh, this here is not finished and now it looks a bit more professional. I also did this because uh, this way I'm hiding the seam between these two bits and this one and then uh, these one are just for the loss of it because I don't know uh, they remind me of the thorns of rose or maybe just uh, water drops but yeah I don't know if I'm going to continue to embellish it more maybe just a little bit or maybe that's gonna be too much you know if you can if I continue but I spent way too much time on it and it feels just like it's very ordinary so yeah that's for this update see you on uh, the next one I told you that I wanted to make her outfit from a different fabric and that the fabric is uh, already washed I'm not sure if I showed these fabrics in recent uh, video but uh, I think I'm gonna show them here this is just a pile of freshly washed fabrics and uh, I wanted to make her outfit originally from this very nice emerald green and this very nice I don't know what sort of blue is that it's not like is it royal blue I think it's a bit darker but then again this is not exactly like emerald green it's a little bit off but yeah maybe uh, in the future I will make her something out of them because this is like <laughs> so much fabric like yeah <laughs> a lot of fabric I also did wash some of these they are uh, older maybe I have shown them in another video but uh, yeah I just wanted them to be clean so I can work with them you can tell that I'm really into fluffy fabrics recently which my nose hates me for that but I also I don't know maybe it's it's winter and this is why fluffy fabrics attract me so much so yeah uh, also this is the same fabric as the blue as the white that I've been crafting from and as this they were all in the same uh, thrift store just at different times and they keep getting more and I have um, forbidden myself you know not, not to get any more because uh, the pieces are super big this is from the dryer by the way I have to uncurl it but the pieces are so big and I'm taking them for making doll clothing and I saw by hand I cannot turn all of this fabric into doll clothing but they don't cut them they sell the entire pieces and I've seen red I have seen some with some patterns and stuff and uh, different blues and I think brown and yellow and I want to get them all <laughs> and they aren't expensive by the way they're like 16 level per kilogram or something there they are per kilogram but it is a pretty light fabric you can actually see through the uh, white one but yeah this is what I wanted to make her outfit from originally but uh, I also wanted to make it right now because when I'm recording it's the weekend you know and when I'm actually making the things and I'm recording when I'm making them it's the weekend so yeah I just wanted to be uh, done with her not like it's something that I don't like doing but something that I can't wait to do so yeah okay I had to put it on her I think it's looking really precious and especially with shoes on <laughs> there is like a part of me that is like that's done but there is also a part of me that's like uh, gloves little little gloves maybe you know not not for the 
pounds just for like a little sock but it's gonna be hard to turn inside out and I'm gonna want to of course embellish it because um that's me <laughs> and a part of me is gonna want to put fluff on it and dealing with the fluff is unpleasant let's say but yeah I really like it with the shoes Hmm. Gloves or no gloves? How lazy am I today? We'll see. Alrighty, here we are in my normal setting and here she is with her outfit done. Uh, honestly, I am very happy that I bought her. She was one of the few ones of these dollies that I really wanted to have and yeah I have her and I'm very happy to have her let's like moving a little bit closer so I can show you the outfit uh, I am happy with how it worked I don't know how long this video is going to be and basically I think that I showed you step by step or at least I'm hoping uh, here is a little bit more light to her but yeah I'm very proud of uh, how this turned out uh, having in mind that this is the first time that I'm making anything for a doll like that I think it worked uh, very nicely uh, working with both the fabric the fluff and uh, also the shape of her body was really hard but that actually, you know, makes me proud of what I made and also the magpie in me is really happy <laughs> that it is so shiny and uh, nice and yeah, I just, I'm happy to finally have this doll because uh, yeah, I've been wanting her from the moment that I knew she existed but also I just wanted to find her like a good deal because uh, you can't collect all the dolls so for for some, you know, I will just be like, okay, I like her, I want her, if I see her, a good deal, okay, then I'll get her. And uh, yeah, she was one of those. Well, that's everything that I wanted to show you in this video. I, I guess it's like a uh, three-in-one, like second-hand video, like a uh, sewing video and uh, like a creative videos something of that sort so yeah i hope that you enjoyed it uh leave a like if you did or leave a like if you like the outfit that they made for her and if you think it is fitting for her uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't if you have thank you so much and don't forget to come back within a day or two for another video because i have a lot of content <coughs> content plans sorry and i'll see you in the comments and on the next video. Bye for now.